Welcome back to my channel, Refuge T here with my granny's closet. How is everybody doing today? How was your weekend? Where did you go? What did you see? What did you do? How much fun did you have? What did you eat? Let me know all the fun and amazing details down below in the comment section. You guys, you guys, you guys, I have a different venue with, for you today. We were in front of my bookshelf. I am just chilling because I'm just going to be doing an intro, a couple of, um, things to talk about my video. It's going to be pretty self-explanatory and um, I am completely free of makeup today. <laughs> I am going all natural. This is going to be the real, real. If you hear my daughter in the background, she is next to me. Our morning routine is just to hang out. Good morning, my son. My kids are just now um, getting up for their day. It is really early. So I tr I'm trying to record my video I will be working on my poncho while I talk to you guys. So, but before we get into all of that, let us get into some admin and intro stuff before we have all our fun. If you don't know, now you know, you can find me on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook, all underneath my granny's closet 3G. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of the items that I sell at my farmer's market, you can find it at my Facebook page. Not to be mixed up with the group page, but the regular page is where I sell all of my market items. For the Facebook group page, that is where we go to congregate and conversate about all things crafty and yarny goodness. Whether you crochet, whether you um, knit. <laughs> the word escaped me this morning or right now. And all of the crafty fun, it doesn't matter if you don't play with yarn or if you do, you guys can go over there and ask questions about a display. I'm having fun interacting with all of you guys. Thank you for joining me there. If you guys are new here, a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me today. You're wonderful. You're wonderful. I really do appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I am enjoying uh, commenting back or replying to all of your guys' comments in the um, comment section down below. Thank you for answering my questions. Thank you for giving me feedback. And thank you for just um, all around having fun with me on my videos. We have Mr. Uh, Wakanda Forever, Mr. Black Panther himself. This is um, T'Cha King T'Challa. And that is Ch Chadwick Boseman's uh, Black Panther. I don't have Shooty's Black Panther yet, which I really do want to get, but um, I can't wait to see if they do have a Shooty Black Panther in an iron heart. I want, you know what kind of shirt I want? I want one with the Dore Milaji on there. The Dore Milaji is the female warriors from Wakanda or from Black Panther movie. And in the comic book, they were differently dressed, like it was more kind of scandalized dressing versus how they portrayed them in the movie, which is so much more modest and uh, fierce. And I love that. Okay, guys, sometimes, but I haven't mentioned it in a while. So for those of you that are new here, I am ADHD. Okay, so I do change subjects often. I do. I uh, kind of ramble and I do go on tangents and I kind of act goofy sometimes. I try to take a lot of that stuff out, but then I put them in the bloopers at the end. All right, you guys, I am going to do this video a little bit more differently than I normally do. I wanted to do a voiceover on some of the things that I'm showing you, but it's just self-explanatory. Um, I'm going to be reloading my car and showing you guys how I reload, how I load my car for market. If you do hear walking back and forth, my kids are going about their morning and uh, my daughter is walking in and out because <laughs> she's just hanging out while I'm making my video. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I'm going to be talking to you while I assemble my poncho and I'm going to be showing you guys my display of how I load my car. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's do this. Dun 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 dun. Pretty self-explanatory. Right now, I'm just putting in my tables. I'm adjusting the seating as well to get a better fit of all the items that I put in my car. Right now, I'm going to show you how I do the tables by myself. 
there you go a good way to lift the table and put it in your car okay grab with both hands set your feet apart lift put your elbows in here lean back and lift with your shoulders and your abs okay Hey guys, right now what I'm doing is I am just putting my wooden display there. That is where I keep my mason jars and all my scrunchie boxes. And then I put my card table on there. That is where I hold all of my bags and everything that I need to uh, cash somebody out. Now I'm putting my back, the stuff in the back seat. I think it's just two by two. So what I do is I put two uh, bins on top of each other and six bins can fit in the back seat you'll see here then in the back back I put my two bins back here so I keep my mason jars separate they stay back there right now I have the wire display and then all my small bins go stacked up neatly in the back of there now I'm getting my display racks or my boards that I put my key fobs and my keychain lip balm holders on. Those fit on top of the bins in the back seat. And then I get the bottom feet of the my uh, clothing racks and I fit those back there as well. Just adjusting my chair to make sure they fit properly. Now comes the fun part. I get my scrunchie boxes and I put them in the front seat. This is the difficult part for me. If I do it by myself, it's hard to get the canopy in there. But for some reason, this particular one you see on the bottom left, there's the, there goes the weights on the other side of my table. I can't get my chair to fit properly. Um, now I'm just putting in the clothes racks, main frame of them. You see me trying to adjust and fiddle with that. There you go. Just give it the little shoulder hee-ho. And then I have my display bucket. Next is my doll heads. Adjusting it to go in there. And I'm all done. Okay, so now that you saw me load my car, it is so much more easier the way that I have it organized now than what the way I did before. Now, the reason why I changed it is because I had... Um, added so much more stuff to my bins that I had to reorganize everything. So now each bin is doubled up, whereas before it would have a singular theme to it. So in one bin, all of my beanies would go. But because I'm running low on beanies, which by the way, I do have to go buy more yarn to make more beanies. <laughs> um, but it, it was... It was easier that way where everything was just like one item or one theme would go in one bin. But now because I'm running low on certain areas and I'm making new things, I'm slowly starting to transition out from winter into summer. And this weather is starting to permit the, you know, the more heat. I don't know what's going on with the weather in Southern California lately. It's just been really, really confused. <laughs> It's like, I don't know if I want to stay cold. I don't want to, I don't know if I want to stay warm. I don't know if I want to burn you guys from the inside out with my 112 temperature heat. So I am liking the way that I pack my car now. I don't label everything. I don't label the bins because after I've unpacked everything, they're all empty. I don't have time to label each bin and say, okay, this is where all the beanies go. This is where all the purses go. This is where all of my miscellaneous from this table goes. I do have one where I know specifically that all the scrunchies do stay in. And it's only because it has a card in there from my earlier displays. Um, now I've changed my display cards where the pricing is. So, um, my scrunchie bin is the only one that I know for a fact that, that the scrunchies go in that one. And I so I like the way that I did my reorganization of the back of the car. So now that we have 
the back, like loading the car and everything. What I'm going to show you now is how I set up my canopy. I know people have been curious. I haven't done my canopy setup in a while, showing you guys too much of it. So I'm going to show you that now. Here I am guys. I'm just opening up my canopy, getting it to try and stretch it out all the way. And then I'm going through each corner trying to find the one that likes to click into place for me. And after that, all the other ones do, like you see here. Now I'm clicking the center ones in place. And then I'm starting to work from one side to the other, pulling the legs out to its full extension. Okay, so now that you've seen my um, the way that I set up my canopy, I have always done my canopy by myself. It is a running joke with people at my farmer's market or at the farmer's market is that especially with my new 10 by 20, people kept asking me, do you need help setting up? I'm like, no, I got it. And my mom's like, just don't ask. I have a method. I have a way of doing things. So people tend to stand back and just let me do it because <laughs> it is... It, because I've done it by myself for so long, I have a process. And if the process gets interrupted, it kind of frustrates me. But I don't turn down help. I don't. Um, if I can get, you know, help doing something, I will take it because I do it by myself. So, but I enjoy setting up the canopy, tearing it down on my own. It doesn't take long. It's like less than five minutes. And, um... As you guys could see in the voiceover, I did have difficulty trying to get, trying to find that one spot where if you open it or like the, the part where I lift it, cause that this canopy, it was easy at first, but then over time, since I've been using it, it's hard to find that one corner that lifts very easily. Uh, they're the corners all except for one are temperamental and I have to always find that one where it's easy just to snap it into place and then the rest of them will snap into place so I have to find the commanding officer <laughs> and um, click that one in place before I get all the other three and then work on the, the center so now that you guys have seen the way that I do the canopy it is so much easier. So you just start on one side and then go on to the other side and then go from corner to corner for the legs. But, um, I do have two different kinds of displays. Uh, my mom, when she is with me and then one where she is not with me. Sometimes my mom has to miss a Saturday. Um, she'll just send a couple of items like her stickers or her, um, her puppets, small things that I can actually fit in my car and then take back to her place. So we prepare for those days. So this display that I'm going to show you is the one that I uh, have when I'm with my mom. So because I have two clips of my display, I am just going to do a short little voiceover here to let you guys know about certain things that do change from this display to the next one. This table pretty much stays the same.
patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shining bright above. This is where it's different. So my mom's display when she's with me, she brings some of the things that she has had from her previous shop that she used to own. So little stuffed animals, small light things that she can bring to the market and sell and make a little bit of money here and there. Um, I do have my lovies. Now my display for this wooden board has changed. Now I keep my mega scrunchie boxes on the bottom rung this is different from what I used to have, and I'll show you that in a second. So before, it was the Mega Scrunchy boxes on the top, and on the middle, the mini, and on the bottom portion was the lip balm keychain holders. And this is where I have my mason jars. My mom has stickers that she puts out. Here is the way that it is now. So I have my mason jars, so the boba, the tea, and the coffee ones that I have displayed here. And um, then we have the mega scrunchy boxes in the middle displayed now. And on the bottom shelf, it has the mini scrunchy boxes and the keychain lip balm holders. And that's pretty much it for this display. I'll give you guys a panned out view of what it looks like in just a short second. mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shining bright above. As you can see, it is larger. There's more uh, table space because my mom does bring an extra table that I do put out and display. We use the card table to maximize any available surface and that is how I get my display done when my mom is with me. When my mom's not with me I have more room to put everything in but minus one table however I do have a lot <laughs> of inventory so even with my mom not with me I do fill up quite a bit of space and you'll see that right now hey guys so I did a different setup for the farmers market today because my mom wasn't gonna be with me today so I have more room to just put everything everywhere so I'm gonna turn you guys around show you guys what's going on okay so instead of over here my key fobs are right here got my good morning got my lovies and froggies my mom did bring a couple of poppers and stickers things that she could just easily put in the box and then take she's taking off early today so she didn't want to bring much that would I would have to fill my car with so on this board is my jars so I got my boba my tea I got one mangonada left and then I have my coffee here then we have my mega scrunchie boxes, lip balms, and then we have the mini scrunchie boxes. Bags here. <clears throat> me. So this table is pretty much the same. Got my notions pouches over here and project bags. Got my couple of mega boxes here. Then we have cup cozies my son made his Bowser my son makes these so we have Bowser we have Guditama Mario and Venom and then the coasters travel kits measuring tapes hair clips boys bow ties 
girls hair bows and then we have the pacifier clips for girl and boy and then here and instead of going instead of my scrunchies being over here I have them here with my new market bags right here okay so then my regular beanie table is here I just took most of the heads out because I need to make more beanies and I haven't so here is my braided ear warmers my slouchy beanies these are my kerchief cowls my hat ear warmers for men my mega palm beanie my coffee bean cowl there's a coffee bean cow here just chilling and i have toddler in size newborn and infant size here and then we just have ear warmers there i have a display of a perfect pocket shawl hair twisted hair bands display of my granny square triangle shawl with the refuge skullcap beanie then i have my large beaded lanyards my thin beaded lanyards and we have these are for your glasses and i do have a couple of key fobs wristlets there then instead of my scrunchies being here, I have my display for keychain key fob or keychain lip balm holders, my daughter's diamond painting keychains. We have stitch markers. Then we have the fidget toys, which I sold just sold out of all the colored. Hi, how are you? Okay, after the gift card holders, we have all of my wearables. So we have wild oleander hooded scarves, granny's triangle square shawl, perfect pocket shawls, and then we have three different styles of shawls here. I have my brand new granny square ponchos displayed out right here. Three more of the wild oleander, and then back here, which you cannot see, which I should put out, is my Kelpie vest putting that out now so let's give you a panned key fobs those are my mom's um what are those called <laughs> aprons and then i have my drawstring bags there and then come back here. I have a tiny little nook area for myself away from it all. And then here's a view from my view of out of my booth. So that is the one where I just displayed on my own. And this is how I display it when my mom's not here. I like to... <laughs> Not that I'm cutting myself off from the crowd, but I like to have distance, sort of like a barrier to feel a little bit more comfortable since I'm on my own. I don't like to have an easy open space where it's easy for somebody or an intruder. They see someone on their own, could easily take advantage. This way in this display, I'm able to see anybody come in, interact with them still, still have that open but closed off space, sort of like, you know, like a register area where they can come to um, pay for their items. They just have to go through this little walkway and then come to my table. They're out of the way of everybody else who's trying to shop and it gives me an opportunity to have a one-on-one, -on -one, a little bit more um, interaction with my customers when they come to pay for their stuff to thank them and be a little bit more personable. I like the way I displayed it on Saturday and I want to see if I can continue to do it that way. Even if my mom comes, maybe just have a small little nook area smaller than what you guys saw. That way it is just a little bit more um, 
I don't know, it feels a little bit more shoppy for me and I like that shoppy style. I like to have that corded off area where we have our own little space and I can close off the entirety of the booth in the back of us. Because we do get people that walk through the booth space from the rear, like they'll walk right by me and that is not where you're supposed to enter enter the market. There is a there we leave an alleyway between my booth and another person's booth space. So we've had a couple but however, <laughs> we've had a lot of people come through just to walk through and enter the booth or the, the marketplace just by walking through our booth. Now you're thinking, well, refuge, why won't you allow that? You know, it's if it's easier for them to come in and then your booth is the first thing that they see. Well, the problem with that is that if I have customers and all they're doing is walking through just to walk through to get through to the market, there's an easy way for them to get through the market by not going through my space. But and it's so funny because they'll go through my space, not the alleyway that's available right next to it. It's just like, okay, instead of going this way, they went this way and there's only a singular wall. I'm glad to have extra people in my booth space. I really, really am. But not if they're going to uh, do that ex at the expense of other customers that are already in there. They're not like being respectful to their space. They're not, you know, um, giving, and they're not saying, excuse me, they're not being cordial or um, respectful. They're not doing any of that. And I don't appreciate that when it comes to people coming into my booth space. I would like everybody to be respectful. I would like everybody to be kind and, you know, in their, in whatever that they're doing throughout their day. If there's an issue, you know, I would be happy to try and help them out with it. But if they're just walking through my booth space, just to get to the market when there's an easier access way, like two inches to the left. And yeah, it becomes a little bit of an issue and I hate to be a nitpicker and I'm not one for complaining too often about things like that, but you want to make sure that you feel safe in your space. And I don't feel safe when someone comes up from behind me. I like to keep that area corded and closed off with my, um, my canopy walls. And that way it makes me feel a lot more secure, a lot more safe and knowing that nobody can come up and creep up from behind because all there is is parked cars behind me. And if anything, Lord forbid, would happen where there's an incident where somebody comes up from behind, they have a car waiting right in front of my vehicle, you know what I mean? And then it becomes, you know, a life or death situation. So um, I prefer to have that just closed off and not have to worry about it. You guys seen the two displays. You guys have seen me set up my canopy. You've seen me load my car. That is what I always, always do for my market. I will show you guys how I just, how I set everything up like completely. Um, I know I did a video of that before and I accidentally deleted it. So you guys didn't get me to get to see me display a lot of stuff. So next, this next weekend, I will try to record as much as I can. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of my booth space. I know that it was a quick video today, but I do have tons of things that I need to get done. I still have to do a vlogging for my Monday video for you guys for Friday's market vlog. But I also am going to be taking my son for a run today. We're working on his stamina and his... Um, agility and his formation for running because you got to run from base to base. You can't do that. And mom was really good at teaching that because I used to be a track and cross country runner when I was younger. So I have to go put on all the braces, knee braces, elbow, wrist, ankle. <laughs> I just need like puppy panda said, I just need bubble wrap <laughs> so I don't fall anywhere. But that is it for me today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and the style with which I presented it. If you guys are interested in seeing how I set up from beginning to end, let me know and I will do that video. If you guys want a more detailed video on how I set up my canopies, 10x10 and 10x20, let me know. I can do that as well. So 
Thank you guys for joining me today. I really do appreciate you coming and taking a chance and watching this video of this crazy lady over here. Don't forget to ring that notification bell. Don't forget to click on the all button and it'll let you know when I have dropped another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You guys, thank you for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Hope you guys have a blessed rest of your Monday, a blessed rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Peace out. So the morning is not as busy, but it's not slow. So I'm just sitting here, chilling, crocheting, just watching the people go by. My mom is gonna be with me for a few minutes and um, then she's gonna leave, but she went for a walk. She forgot to bring a chair with her. She can't use the chair that I have because it's hard for her to get out of it. So I am just waiting for her to come back. It's not gloomy, but it's not very sunny. So there's more people coming, so I will check in with you guys again later. Okay, you guys. So we had a crowd and we sold some stuff, so that was really good. Um, there's light foot traffic over here on this end, but they're doing really good at the other end of the farmer's market, which is really, really cool because we're getting a lot of people in. Um, and then they're trickling down this way. So um, I, I am doing really well today. So I am excited. I just have to, I've got an hour left and then that's it. There's a fly and it's getting on my nerves. Uh, how you, can you guys see it? Uh, it's because my mom just had a snack and now this fly is <laughs> like buzzing around. Okay. There's more customers coming, so I'll talk to you guys later. So I have this delicious mac and cheese. It's His name is Alfred, my friend, who does the barbecue. And it's called Ward's Barbecue. It's so good. Hello, how are you? Hey guys, Refuge T here with my granny's closet back with another video for you guys. No, that's wrong. <laughs> my granny's closet first and then <laughs> we're starting this off right, guys. <laughs> you guys, how's everybody doing? How was your weekend? What did you go? Where did you see? Where did you go? <laughs> what did you see? I can't hear out of my left ear right now. It's really plugged up. You know what? I need water. Alright, unpile myself of all of this stuff. <laughs> so I like the way oh darn it. I totally did this backwards. <sighs> so I gotta refix it. Oh, there goes my hook. And I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your Friday or why do I keep saying Friday? 